Alright, the next feature that we want to implement is the shuffering feature. So currently, you can see that uh, there is there is a fixed order to the songs whenever we traverse to the next one. The next one. Okay, so you can see one, two, three, four, and then if we go back, it's four, three, two, one. So the idea of the shuffle button is that when we go to the next one, it will give us a random song rather than the the falling song. Okay, so we are going to copy the graphics into the drawer, so you can also pick up the graphics from the description below. Okay, so next uh, we go to the activity underscore play underscore song layout. So I'm going to use a norm normal button, alright? And uh, the width is 6249, so I'm going to set it to be the same 6249. So 62 density pixel, and then the height will be 49 density pixel. Right, and then uh, for the okay for the ID, I'm, I'm going to call it shuffle BTN, and then I'm going to look for this attribute, right? Background. So I'm going to change it to the shuffle one with the alpha channel, right? So this one, click OK. Okay, I'm going to take reference from the top to the top of this button, and then. Uh, yeah, okay, so the same, the start to the start of this button. Alright, so everything is consistent. And I should also take away the text from the button. Okay, so uh, let's work on the toggling of the image. Alright, so, so the toggling will be similar to the repeat button. Alright, so I can do a lot of duplication. So over here, I can just copy this line, right? So I'm using another boolean flat. So this can be the shuffle flat, right? So I go all the way down to below, right? So I can copy this entire function. Okay, I paste it, and I'm going to change the method name to be shuffle song, and the boolean will be shuffle flat all right and then this is the part where i toggle the value every time the the button click and call this function okay and i need to set a new variable to point to the shuffle button very much like how i did for the repeat button right so some so over here i can do a duplication so this will be shuffle button and then I'm going to repeat this line so you will be shuffle button right and it will be r.id dot and I should be picking the shuffle button right so everything seems good to go yeah okay so this should be shuffle button shuffle button and here, right, here should be the shuffle off, and here should be the shuffle on. Alright, so we can compile and install the app in our in our emulator. Okay, and let's check whether is the shuff shuffling button uh, works. Oh, not yet, right? So. Uh, you can see that it, it is gray so gray means that uh, the method is unused right so I need to go to the the layout here right for this one I look for the click and then I'm going to call the shuffle song right so let me compile one more time
right so tap changes tap okay revert back tap again changes tap revert back okay so the next thing is we want to implement the logic okay in order to randomize the songs in the array okay unfortunately uh, because we are using uh, a simple array so it doesn't have the method or the API for us to use in order to randomize the items in the array however if we uh, use another kind of array known as the list or the array list it does provide a method or API for us to recognize the array okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this line all right uh, I'm, I'm going to call it original all right original song collection so the purpose of this particular instance here is that uh, it is going to have the original sequence right because if the user is going to tap right uh, it means that the user want to revert to the original sequence all right so this one here will be sorted whenever the user tap over here right this one will contain the original sequence okay and then uh, because we need to use a list right because the list has the method for us to easily sort the items so what we can do is we can create a list write a list and then the list is a list of song instances right very much like your array of song instances and I'm, I'm going to call it shuffle list it will be equals to arrays okay arrays dot s list song collection dot songs okay so what happened in line 37 is that I'm going to have a list right and this list is going to make use of this class array and this class array uh, is able to turn a particular given array into a list all right okay so essentially after line 37 shuffle list is going to contain the same items as uh, song collection dot songs okay so here this is the array inside this insert all right so why are we creating this because the list has the api or the method to sort right to sort the item within the array okay within the list okay so what we have to do next is to try out all right so whenever the user uh, tap the shuffle icon right which is here right you will you will trigger this one okay so what we want to do is we want to call upon shuffle list and then dot shuffle all right yeah so we should be using the collection class Okay, collections dot shuffle and then we put in the shuffle list all right so basically uh, this class has a method shuffle which is able to take in a list and then shuffle the list all right and we can do a simple for loop here uh, to output the item inside the shuffle list okay so shuffle list dot size and then we can do a lock lock so maybe I call it shuffle and then here basically I'm going to uh, output shuffle shuffle list dot get I dot get title all right okay so whenever we tap on this button we expect to see some login to be outputted in the log cap panel all right so let's try it so 
so we can filter based on sh shuffle okay choose any song it doesn't matter so when i tap i should see the output okay so why are we not seeing the output shuffle Okay, so you can see that I'm connecting to the the wrong emulator, right? So that's the reason why I don't see any output. So it is important that you check that you are connecting to the right emulator and also uh, the right process, uh, the right package, right? So here we are, right? So you can see one. So now it's one four three two, right? Okay, it has been shuffled. So let me clear it one more time. Okay, clear the lock. Okay, so I tap, nothing will happen because it is triggering this part. So when I tap again, right, so you can see now the the order has changed, right? So now it's four, three, one, two. So let me clear it. So I tap again, and then I tap again, right? So it's three, four, one, two. So it's always different. Okay, now that. Uh we know that shuffling is working, so we can take away this for loop. Alright, so what we want to do is uh, we want to say shuffle please dot to array will be equals to some collection dot So essentially what this line is trying to do is that it is going to uh, take this list, right? Uh, there's a method inside this list and this method is basically uh, taking out all the items and putting putting them into this array. So basically it's overriding all the items inside the songs. Okay, and because we know that when we are going next or going back, basically we are accessing this array so now that this array has been updated therefore and it has been randomized so therefore when we go next okay it should it should be getting a different order and here means that we want to revert back to the original order so we can do something like that song collection will be equals to new song collection yeah so we are creating a new instance right to this variable so it, it is as good as uh, reverting to the beginning so with that i think we can run it okay i have some error here so okay i think it's because a shot oh, right so there's a I think I accidentally deleted the else okay, so it should be okay now So this is the original sequence, right? One, two, three, to four. Okay, I'm changing the music because uh, I don't want to infringe any copyrights. Okay, so now when I tap on it, basically what happened is that uh, the codes here get executed right so firstly the image is changed as we can see here secondly we are shuffling the shuffle list so shuffle list contain the original order but now after going through 249 all the items are shuffled okay they are randomized uh, we we have no control over the order right so basically depend on runtime what is the order given after that 
we are outputting or we are overriding all the items into songs okay so that's what happened so therefore if i press next i think the order should change okay next so it becomes number four right and number three uh, number three okay number two right so the order has been changed however now when i revert back right revert back so i'm actually running here right i'm running here so you can see that now the image is uh, the one with the alpha channel and then i'm resetting my variable here okay as if it is uh on in fact i'm resetting the variable right because this new instant now replace the older instant okay so now if i go next i should be going to number three right because that is the original order three. and of course number four So now, if I shuffle again, right, so you can see that I'm going to shuffle it, okay, I'm going to shuffle it, and then I will not know what is the next number, so let's try, so the next number turns, turns out to be number 1, okay, so now this becomes the order. right, okay, in fact this is the last one, okay, so this is the last one. So now, when I, so now that I turn my shuffle off, this will be the last one, or rather this will be the first one, there's no previous, but if I go next, then I'm going back to the original order, which is correct, but once I turn shuffle on, if I go next, okay, yeah, so it's a different order. Alright, so uh, this shuffling feature is uh, more complicated than, than the repeat. Right, because we are making use of uh, a new object known as the the list, right? The list, and because and that's because we want to make use of the shuffle method that's built into a list, so that uh, and this method has the ability to shuffle a list, right? Okay, so thank you for watching.